and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today I'm predicting the NFL Honors players. Now, as you guys know, we are in the Super Bowl promo already, which means that the NFL Honors is not far behind. I believe the NFL Honors is either February 1st or February 2nd, which means the promo itself usually drops the days coming forth after. So it could be the next morning, it could be the next day, the next two days, it could be the same night if EA's feeling really ballsy, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't remember the exact routine of how they usually drop things, guys, but. In terms of NFL honors, it does come right around the Super Bowl time just as well. So usually around February 2nd, February 3rd, all the way to February 6th, somewhere between then. So give or take about a week and a half at max until we see the NFL honors, which means we're going to get some pretty crazy cards. Now, as you guys know, the reward, the awards are Man of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Comeback Player of the Year, Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, and MVP. I believe I covered them all there. Pretty cool awards. Last year, we did get kind of screwed because Pat Mahomes actually won Offensive Player of the Year and MVP. So... We kind of lost a card there, which is fine, but it would have been cool to have another player in terms of instead of just having one Pat Mahomes card to cover two. But this year, I do not think we'll have the same case as last year, so we were looking pretty solid. Now, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that only bell, boys, come join the family. We're super close to 20K. We're a, thousand, we're a little like 1,800 away. I, we can hit that really fast, guys, so let's make it happen. Comment down below what your predictions are for NFL Player of the Year, or NFL Honors, I should say. I'm very interested because obviously some of them are going to be shoo-ins, like some of them are obvious picks, but some of them are going to be a little bit harder than that. So let me know what your picks are down below. It'd be kind of interesting. Give me all of your picks down below or the ones you're sure of at that point. And then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes in this video, boys? Noti gang, always got to go strong. You guys have been helping the channel grow. You guys are most of the reason why this channel grows as much as it does. You guys show crazy support. You guys help keep snowballing everything. Thank you for all that. Now let's get into this. So starting off, Cam Newton has already been picked as the Panthers nominee for the man of the year. Because the way the man of the year works, right, is that each team picks one player from their team that they want to be voted into as the man of the year. So like the Giants take Eli Manning, like the guy who they think did their most contributions to uh society as a whole and who they think deserves man of the year they picked their one player and it goes up 32 players total i believe cam newton is far and away winning the votes by like a large margin he pretty much won the vote i'm pretty sure he won already at this point now his last card was this most feared card so his next card will more than likely be like a 97 overall man of the year cam newton probably gonna have like a 90 speed he's probably gonna be, he's probably pretty glitchy he's gonna be one of the more popular quarterbacks at the time so super awesome we're gonna get a cam newton card all you gotta do is power him up shouldn't it be really cheap to power him up because all you got to do is grab his uh, most feared card, as well as his base elite, and that's it. And then you got to use trains power from the 92 up to the 97. Shouldn't be too expensive at all. So that's my pick for that. Comment down below who you think the man of the year will be. Next, for defensive rookie of the year. I think this is a pretty much a shoe in Now, Devin Bush, I believe, gives a, a decent fight. But this guy was just different. Nick Bosa, far and away, is more than likely going to win defensive player of the year. Defensive rookie of the year, I should say. Now, he has a Ghost of Madden card, which means his defensive rookie of the year will probably also be a 97 overall. So, again, powering him up won't be too hard. Just got to get his team of the week as well as his uh, Ghost of Madden future and his other team of the week card, which is right here. Now, the only thing, right, with this Nick Bosa is that we do have him as a rookie premier. Now, I believe rookie premiers do get the NFL honors upgrades like they did last year. So, they, they stop receiving upgrades around through February. So February is going to be the last update. So last year we did get the updated versions of the Saquon Barkley. Now here's the only issue with Nick Bosa, right? We're probably going to get a 97 Nick Bosa, which is super cool. But they, he cannot get chems and abilities and stuff the way that Nick Bosa can. The, this full one where you can actually trip power him up. So if you want to have the actual good Nick Bosa, you're going to need him. They've been underrating Nick Bosa's stats in Madden all year. So I wonder what they're going to do with this card. Hopefully they make him good because we do have him for free. So it's going to be pretty awesome that we all get at least one of them. Now next on the list, by the way, comment down below who your defensive rookie of the year is. Now, for Offensive Rookie of the Year, it comes down to two people. Now, I have two people in mind. Now, I'm going to go with this guy first because this guy I want to see win it. I had him in fantasy this year. I watched him all year. Kyler Murray is definitely one of the top two candidates or top three candidates, I should say, for defensive, I mean, defense, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Now, his last card was his Blitz card. So, it would be nice to see him get an upgrade. And a, a Kyler Murray with a 97 overall would probably have like a 95 speed, 96 speed at quarterback. He'll probably end up giving him a power up at that point too. He'll probably have all 90 throwing, all 90 throw. He's gonna pretty much be Lamar Jackson. He's gonna be like a Lamar Jackson, a Lamar, a little smaller than Lamar Jackson. Probably not as good as Lamar, but he's gonna be up there. Gonna be a fun card to use. But Kyler Murray probably ends up being one of the better quarterbacks in the Madden because he already has 90 speed at that point. So they're gonna give him a crazy speed in the next card, especially if he goes up seven overalls. 
Comment down below who you think will be now as a close second or even some, some people a close, maybe the first option by far. If it wasn't for his injury, he probably would have had it, but he did get hurt towards the end of the year. That's Josh Jacobs. He really only has two cards above an 80, which is the team of the week and the ghost of Madden future. So he should be pretty easy to upgrade. His next card, I don't know. They made this card super slow. His next card might only have like a 93 speed, which would really suck. So I don't think this Josh Jacobs would be really usable. So I really don't hope that's the one we get. I hope it's more of a Kyler Murray, but a Josh Jacobs at a 97 will have a 99 carrying. Probably close to 99 truck, 99 break tackle. Good agility. The only thing he's going to suck is probably speed and excel, which kind of sucks because he's really not slow in real life. But it is what it is. Now, for comeback player of the year, before we get into the bigger awards, comeback player of the year, guys, I do have Dalvin Cook slotted as my number one guy. He's probably 1A and 1B with some other guy, though, which I'll get to in about a second. But Dalvin Cook had a phenomenal year. One of the best running backs in the league this year. Probably could have had an even much better year stat-wise had he avoided some injuries down the stretch. They kind of rest him a little bit down the stretch with some minor injuries. They weren't massive. Kept him out for like a few games, but they were really taking it easy on him because they wanted him for the playoffs. Other than end up getting knocked out, it was a pretty decent strategy instead of ruining him for the playoff run. Even then, in the playoffs might have even been still a little uh, dampered by injuries, to be quite honest with you guys. But Dalvin Cook, this card was solid as it was. 90 speed, 90 win excel, 90 break tackle, 88 elusiveness. His next card, if he gets a 97, if he gets a 97 card, come back at player of the year, probably end up with like a 95 speed. More than likely, maybe like a 94 speed with close to 99 break tackle chemmed up. Great agility, great catching. His catching in real life is really good, so I hope they give it to him on his car because in real life, he gets a lot of screens. He does a lot of routes. He does a lot of little things that a lot of his game was receiving this year too. He was a big part of their receiving game, so I really hope they up his catching. He would by no means a bad catcher. Now, next guy on the list that could potentially get the comeback player of the year is going to be Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, guys, the overalls I've been giving you guys, by the way, are pretty much based on what they've done in years past overall-wise. So just keep that in mind. Now, Jimmy Garoppolo didn't have many cars this year. Probably wouldn't cost much to power him up. A fully powered up Jimmy Garoppolo and everything come the end of the year. Now, the only issue with Jimmy Garoppolo is he does not have a power up yet. So I'm hoping they do end up giving him one for his next card. If he does get one of these cards. He did come back from, I believe, an ACL tear. So a fully powered up Jimmy Garoppolo probably ends up close to like 95 passing across the board with close to probably 95 passing. No, I wouldn't imagine much above. Maybe his throw power back in 96. And it's people who probably end up getting close to escape artists. Although I don't know if he'll actually end up getting it. He might end up with like an 80 speed. Maybe 81 if he's lucky and then he can be powered up. But those are the two guys coming back player of the year. Comment down below who you think you'll be getting for that. Now, offensive player of the year. I think it's far and away one guy. I really think it has to be Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey balled out. Almost broke the single season yards from scrimmage. Had Kyle Allen not melted down and been one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL the last like five to seven games of the season, I think Christian McCaffrey would have easily have broken from uh, Johnson's record. At least got a little bit closer. Even in the last game, there's still a chance. I think he still needed like 250 yards, something like that in the last game or two, which isn't, it's not easy by any means, but it was doable. So that just goes to show you that if Kyle Allen didn't suck the rest of the season, probably had a little bit extra yards per game and I made that like only 140 in the last game or something. But you guys get the point. His next card, pro this one will cost a little bit to power up because there's quite a few cards that he has to have this year. They weren't great though, but his next card will probably have like a 95 speed, probably 97 overall, 95 speed, probably like, Actually, no, offensive play of the year, it depends. I mean, he could be 97, could be 98. Depends what EA does with this one. Probably 95 speed, probably 95 excel, probably 90 catching, 99 agility, close to like 95 carrying. Going to be a really great card because as we get closer to uh, cards that can really get their speed up there at this point, you can really just start playing with cards you want to have. You're not going to be stuck to get the meta card anymore. But I think McCaffrey's the far and away option there. Now, offensive play of the year is between two guys. Now, I'm not going to cover one of the guys. I'm just going to mention him because I did already cover him. First, Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore was a part of this crazy Patriots defense this year that, like, really just led the league in, like, turn. I don't know if they led the league in turnovers, but they were definitely up there. Crazy amount of turnovers. For They made a lot of plays. One of the reasons that the Patriots even had a good record was because of how dominant their defense was this year. It was truly a scary force to go against. Now, Gilmore's next card would be probably insane. He'll probably end up with a 99 man, 99 press, probably, like, 95 zone, close to 99 play rec. Probably only a 93 speed, though, which is still going to make him slow, which is the only thing that's going to hold him back. And the other card for defensive player of the year is probably Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa could potentially pull up Pat Mahomes and win defensive rookie of the year and defensive player of the year, which would kind of suck because we we, we're already going to get him either way because I'd rather have different cards. But either way, it'd be pretty cool if he wins both of them as a rookie, too. It would be kind of some kind of special to see, you know. But we have to see now MVP, it ha it's Lamar Jackson. I, know, I, think it's like, I think this vote's been done for a while. Lamar Jackson is winning MVP. Russell Wilson was like the only thing competing with him and at one point McCaffrey, but McCaffrey's team didn't even make the playoffs. And then Lamar Jackson just led one of the greatest offenses in NFL history. Next to Lamar Jackson card, I don't think I gotta even tell you guys. You guys already, you've heard me enough. He's probably gonna get to 99 speed with powered up and chemed up, of course. Right now he gets like a 93. So his next card will probably have like a 96 speed base. So powered up, chemmed up with like Sprinter or John Madden, I thought this is 99 speed easy. Probably close to like 90, 
three throw power base so powered up go deep and everything probably like 97 throw power gonna have all above 90 throwing stats with like a 99 probably close to 99 throwing under pressure and like a 96 throw on the run might even get might even get like human joystick considering his agility might end up getting to 99 as well as his juke and spin probably gonna get his juke probably gonna be a 99 his spin's gonna get to like a 92 gonna be a crazy good card with 99 break sack break tackle whatever Guys, those are my votes for the NFL honors predictions. I think that we, we got them. We got them on point. I think you're gonna see. I think these cards almost have to be. I'm gonna get probably at least almost all of them right, because there were just some players that were given. Like I think Lamar's a given. Gilmore Bose is a given. McCaffrey's a given. I think Sherman. I mean not Sherman. Dalvin Cook is a given. Josh Jacobs or Kyler Murray, and Nick Bosa, and then Cam Newton. Right. They're, they're, the only ones that I might that might be different are gonna be. The rookie of the years, considering, and the comeback player of the years, obviously, because that could go, that, that could skew a little bit depending on what they validate as, you know, comeback player. But that's better for the video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. It's 20k as quickly as possible. Comment down below your predictions now that we made it to the end. Let me know what you guys think down below, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get to 300 likes? That'd be greatly appreciated, boys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.